I thought show. she was great. Yeah, I, um, no question. And and she had been turned down by NBC, Brandon, and um, uh, I saw she was did it on an HBO special, and they showed, Marcy and Tom showed me the tape, and there was something about this lady. There were two things about this lady. One was that she captured something that was going on in the country, which was women's confusion and and attendant anger about their role in families and children in the household. Um, expected to be super moms, and with that came anger, and with that came frustration, and the husband sitting on the couch doing nothing. Um, that's what Roseanne was about. Um, she and how you juggle it and how you make that work as a woman. And Roseanne, that was part of her act, but, it, and, and, but in her act was that combination of some anger, but also enormous twinkle in her eye, just a great twinkle. I mean, she, she knew what it was about, and that's why we went. Um, we waited for John Goodman for six months because John Goodman was going to be the perfect husband. There was no other person we ever considered, and we waited for John. So the show didn't go on the air and didn't go on the air. And then when we started shooting the show, before we were on the air, um, it had even gone on the air, we started having problems with Roseanne. Roseanne was not coming out of the dressing room. Roseanne didn't write the script. Roseanne didn't do it. Whatever the Roseanne problem was. And we hadn't gone on the air yet. We're not even, nobody's seen her. And we have problems with her. Now, this is going to be the longest year of my life. But I did something that, um, one should do, if I think, if you had my job. Every star will try to get to the head of the entertainment division to line up, get leverage, get power, get things done. And what I did was to say to Roseanne or Roseanne's people, talk to Tom and Marcy. They are your producers. They are in charge of your show. If you have problems about the writing, problem about the dressing room, problem about your hair, problems about your dog, talk to Tom and Marcy. That's your producers. So I pushed it and pushed it and pushed it back. And Tom and Marcy were fine with it, and they said, that's the way to do it. We love the support. You give us the support on that. It'll work. And we won't allow any end runs. And it worked out fine. But it, when I left, it ended up with ABC executives having meetings with Tom and Roseanne in their bedroom while they were lying in bed. And the ABC executives were at the foot of the bed taking notes.